All right, so Mr. Chavez, good morning. Next, we go to bond court in Miami-Dade County. Judge Mindy Glazer presiding. The defendant is MMA fighter John Chavez. He's been charged with aggravated assault, burglary, and eluding police. The incident occurred after Chavez learned his mother filed a protection order against him. Once in her home, he allegedly smashed a cell phone, broke her glasses, and picked up a large kitchen knife. Chavez then took off as police arrived, and a manhunt ensued, forcing several schools in the area to go on lockdown. The defendant, who stands 6'2 and weighs 220, has a violent past that includes assault and battery charges. He was eventually captured in a neighbor's backyard near his mother's home. After his arrest, he's brought before Judge Glazer to learn if he'll get bail. Sir, you were arrested for burglary to an occupied dwelling. It's from March 22nd. And you have another case, aggravated assault from March 21st. I'll appoint the public defender's office for you. Is he also out on felony bond? Yes. This is actually Chavez's second appearance before Judge Glazer in less than a week. Good afternoon, sir. You were arrested for... Good afternoon. Just a few days before the alleged attack on his mother, he was arrested for possession of a firearm by a felon. When the gun turned out to be a toy, the charges were dropped. But a kitchen knife is no toy, and today, Judge Glazer may not be as lenient. The public defender makes her case. As to the aggravated assault, Judge, there's no indication here that this gentleman ever threatened the alleged Never. victim in this case. Now it's up to Judge Glazer to make her decision. There is probable cause for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. They didn't charge it that way, but that's what it is. Chavez does not look happy, but Judge Glazer isn't finished. Sir, so you're, you're ordered to stay away from, I guess it's your, your mother, Iris Chavez. No contact with Ms. <coughs> Chavez, either directly, indirectly, in person, in writing, by telephone, or through third parties. No contact with the victim through social media or other electronic means. Chavez tries to speak up, but what he may not realize is because he's in a different location than the judge, he can only be heard when his attorney presses this button. So he keeps on trying. No mic, no problem. Chavez won't give up. As far as his charges, for aggravated assault, the judge sets bond at $7,500. As for the burglary charge, the defendant is not so lucky. I'm setting it no bond. There's probable cause for armed burglary. He had a knife in a, cl in a closed area. Sir, I know it's upsetting right now for you. Chavez grows more incensed. Sir, I know you're upset. I'm sorry. Corrections, can you take him out? Not much seems to be happening, so the judge tries again. Corrections. Yes, they're coming, young. The charges against Chavez are ultimately dropped, and he's released. But eight months later, he's convicted on new burglary charges. And he's sentenced to seven years and 10 months in a Florida prison. OK. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.